Hey, here we go. Let's do it. This is going to be a random pack opening for my last trip to the LCS. Bunch of fun stuff. I took a couple of the packs out. I cut out the 91 Don Russ and took some of those. And then the 92 Upper Deck. Going to save some of those for a random pack act. A random pack opening for Junk Wax May. Oh no, it's almost fucking here again. <sighs> okay. So, first things first. I did look through that Donruss baseball box. And a lot of it was unopened stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool because you're going to have those uh, those Grand Slammers on top in, in the unopened packages. So we have a Maguire... And then Matt Williams, so McGuire is a good one. Bonds, Canseco. And then we get down to the Immortals, like Jay Buhner and Cal Daniels. And then we get down to the Immortals, like Ron Karkavice and Luis Polonia. See him right there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Uh, when I sell lots or whatever, I can include these. As just like throw-ins. I always put a ton of throw-ins in there. So these aren't really worth it. I mean, I'll probably keep the Maguire and the Bonds and the Conseco. But we'll see. They're not worth that much. I already have the Grand Slammer set. Because I have the sickness and I bought them. I bought the set before. Uh, okay, let's do this. I got this uh, stacked in the way that I want to open them. And we're going to do the two football first, if that's okay. I know it's not, not generally a football channel. Most people are not here to see football. We just got two random packs of football, so let's do it. Oh, I forgot. The other stuff. There was open stuff. And that's why it wasn't a complete, complete set. We have a bent card of Mike Greenwell. And then over there you can see there's a stack of cards and then a damaged uh, puzzle piece and the other puzzle pieces. That was also in there, so I'm going to put those. Let me throw the green one away. I will put those in the donation box. Okay. Let's see what we got in this. I don't know what you can find in these. Probably nothing. That's why they're in the cheat box, but it's just nice to open. I like. I love the gold. Uh, the gold signature in the bottom. Craig Hayward. No relation. Greg Lloyd was a really good player. Anthony Pleasant, good player, but you know what? He wasn't really that pleasant from what I've heard. These are sticking a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, Nate Newton. It's not a good pack to start. Not a good pack. Uh, hopefully we can only get better. Jeff... This is something. Jeff Keery. Chris Carter. And there's not really one keeper card out of there. So like I said, we can only go up. Do this action packed. I'll leave this out here just so you can kind of get a taste of what's coming up. At some point, I'm going to give the warning when we do the adult pack. So if you're a kid, or if you have a kid, no one's fucking watching this. What am I talking about? But if you don't want to see a possible... Nude lady or guy, hopefully not a guy, God's sakes, on the card, then you want to, I'll let you know. Another uh, Anthony Carter, so uh, put Anthony Carter on the watch list. This is a Vikings pack. Hassan Jones, they had one more of these, maybe I'll pick it up the next time. Anthony Carter, I always love action pack, most people don't. Mark Jackson was a nice wide receiver. Kelvin Martin, Tommy Kane, and Ruben Mays. Two packs in for football. That makes it easy for football because I can just put these in the donation box. I don't have to do anything with them. Two dollars down the drain. Okay, I bought this. Not quite sure why. I've heard of this. Uh, chronically in every game of the 2008 season. I mean, it's King Griffey Jr. in a White Sox jersey. I was never the biggest King Griffey Jr. fan, but I don't really want to see him in a White Sox jersey. Let me have a little sip of my drink. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. 2008 Upper Deck. And they're a little bricked. But not terrible, terrible. 
There is game 98. Oh, are you not putting the names on here? Oh, no. Joe Creedy or A.J. Pazinski, one of the two. Yeah, I won't buy these again. Uh, that is... Mentions the Cubs. Cubs lost. Ryan Braun, but that's not Ryan Braun. Uh, Oakland. This is great entertainment here. Oops, just, I'm glad there's only one pack. Uh, so note to self, do not buy a box of these. Who is that? Lasting's Millage, but that's not Lasting's Millage on the front. I don't like these. We're very angry about these so far. Okay, uh, the pitcher. Congratulations, I just received something it says. There's something in there. Holy shit. I love these cards. <laughs> is that a is that a Fonzie? Is that Alfonso Soriano? Chicago comes through in pinch to win game. Is that Daryl Ward? Cubs beat somebody in the Marlins. Is that a big Frank? Hey, we got a Frank Thomas card. Doesn't really say his name on there. I'm sure Mr. T doesn't really care about this one, but I'm going to set that aside because that's my really first keeper card. And then there's a Jeter. Star member of the Yankees delivers again. A Derek Jeter. I'll take any Derek Jeter card. Derek Jeter, Frank Thomas. Let's see what we got here in a second. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it's a jersey. I think I got an autograph. I think I got an autograph. And, oh, it's flipped over. Oh, this is, well, that's because, that's why. We got an autograph of, who? <laughs> Brian Bocock. Oh, no. Not the Bocock. Woo! We got a Bocock. Everybody, we got the Bocock. <laughs> that's a sweet looking card. I like it. I don't know who that is. And that's another White Sox. We got the Bocock. Seasonal signatures. He's now doing seasonal work at uh, Macy's. Brian Bocock. Giant. Maybe uh, maybe my boy Clinty remembers Brian Bocock. 2008 documentary. You know what, though? For a dollar and you get a surprise auto, I'll take it every day. Or was this? No, it is a dollar pack. We got the Bocock, okay. We're on the board with the hits. I'm just gonna double check that I miss anybody here. No, we got the Bocock. Okay, off to the Fleer. This is 94 Fleer. I think I had two of these packs. I've saved one for a Junk Wax May opening. Oh, I like these. Maddox Award winner. Oh no, back. Take these. Greg Maddox Award winner. It's a little banged up corner, but. Eh, I'll put it in my Maddox PC. I just, like, I see all these, uh, the gold on the back. You think it's like a, like an insert or something. Yeah, I like these cards. Billy Hatcher, a little stuck together too. Tom Hankey. Roberta Meha, Doherty, Kevin, uh -huh. Bernie Williams, a good player. Albert Bell, the wrong Pedro. Hey, there's a move on. It's probably like his six year card it says rookie on it. I keep move ons because so I can uh, send them to Dave Durango and uh, troll them with them. Roger Pavlik, Ken Bottenfield, Whitaker, and the wrong Gwen. A lot of wrong players in there. These are sticking together and just double checking. Okay, so not what's in there. Let's go down to 95 Fleer. We're taking a trip back in time and moving forward with the Fleer. Let's see if 95 Fleer can hold Ultra. Can, God damn it. Let me get a pair of scissors out. Can hold a candle to 94 Fleer Ultra. I 
couldn't, I couldn't even properly open it with a pair of scissors. Ah, I like that red there. Is that an insert? Yeah, it's a Molitor too. I hold on to Molitors. Oh, that's a nice card. Award-winning glove. I get a lot of Matt William inserts. I'm sure he had a lot of cards, but this is a Paul Molitor red. And this is going to be a Matt Williams award-winning top glove. Not really a true insert, not numbered, but uh, another Valente Pislat and Mark McGuire. I'm not going to leave all these guys. Bob the Hammer Hamlin. Look at him. Dave Clark. Apier. Oh, is it a different color? Those are gold. These are, I don't know. Matt, another Matt Williams. Never heard of Luis Lopez. Oh, no, has the, oh, that's the team logo. Stinette is covering the trammel. He's cover, covering a Hall of Famer. One of these days, I got to do like a list of like the least like wanted Hall of Famers in terms of their cards. That'd be fun. Okay. So let's actually, we're going to pick some of these up. I'm actually not keeping the Matt Williams. I'm sorry, Clint. We'll keep those two. Okay, we get to the good stuff. And by good stuff, I mean some of the worst stuff ever made. 1991 Don Russ Series 1. We're simply looking for an Elite or the Sandberg Autograph. I'll take out stuff too, like I keep, even though I've taken out a thousand of these and I don't really care anymore. Nope, nothing in there. Got a Tony Gwynn, that's pack one. I kept five packs for this. I think I put four packs away. For, we'll do a, like a huge random opening of Junk Wax for Junk Wax May, but this is a nice little, uh, we don't do this all the time. Just the same pack. Nope, that was, not only is it some of the worst cards, it was not even like close to a keeper card in there. Okay. Third pack. Nolan Ryan, we'll take that. King Griffey Jr., so we got a good pack. At least the pack makes up for it. No, no more Sandys. So we got a Nolan and a King Griffey Jr. Uh, tired, kind of tired of opening those. We'll give these a break for a second here. We'll open one of these. This is what got me hooked on the junk wax in terms of trying to pull the needle in the haystack. These, God damn it. okay. Looking for that uh, Ted Williams. Used to get these really cheap. I remember we stayed, um, why did we stay? When we moved, we had to stay in a hotel for like two weeks. I literally would go to the card shop and buy these for $10 a box and open one a night at the hotel. Uh, Chico Walker. Glavin. Hey, that's I kind of like. I always like the art checklist cards. There's a uh, Tony Gwynn, and nothing in there. Hopefully, we can just get at least one pack that has a Ted Williams at the back, so we can have a little drama. I'll put one more away, and then we'll come back to it. There's a Dion. I'll take that, and Big Frank, but not the auto. As you know, I think there were 250 of these that were kind of secretly autoed and not put in the checklist by Frank Thomas. Um, that's what I heard. They don't actually go for that much. And I don't, in the ones that I saw for sale, I wasn't quite sure if those were aftermarket autographs or not. So uh, me and Mr. T will discuss this further. There is a Carlos Rodriguez. 
put those to the side. Oh, we got a sticker. The Bagwell. Sticker of World Champion Rangers. I don't keep stickers anymore. The gold ones are cool, though. I remember people thinking, like, the gold ones were, like, a SP. They're not, but they're rarer than when you get the other stickers. And once again, oh, we're also looking for the Nevers. Very, another very rare card. So let's do our one pack of this. It's my favorite of the 91 Donruss. I don't think there's anything in there. Another Ricky. Make sure you can see the damn cards. Having fun doing this. This makes me happy today. Danny Darwin and a bow. So, unfortunately, we're going to get that Sandberg. I know we are. We got the Bocock. We got the Brian Bocock. <laughs> what are the odds that we get another autograph out of the rest of this? Zero percent. Um, we'll see. No, we'll do this real quick, and then we'll go back and do the other ones here. And then we'll get to the last three non-sport cards. This video is going to run 30 minutes, but... Oh, there's the Baseball Heroes, but it's not an autograph. It's not the Nolan autograph. That's cool, though. A Greg Colburn. Oh, the rookies are not good. And a Brian Barnes. I like these 91. They're nothing special. Oh, and we got another sticker. And it's a Rangers! We're being trolled by the Rangers. They're letting us know who the world champs are. The Rangers. A checklist, a regular checklist, Cal Ripken Jr. And that's it. Okay. So at least we got a known card. We had a shot. I don't know if one particular card out of that's autographed or a couple of each. Let's finish these bad boys off. I just don't want to see anything in the back. I Knowing where, if you're going to get anything, it's going to be right next to the puzzle piece. So I try not to see that. A friend of mine was a Mets fan. Was, Screw you, Offerman. Was a big Mackie Sasser fan. I don't know why, just because of his stupid name. Bob Welch. Sammy. We got a Sosa rookie. Let me uh, move this over here. I got like a thousand Sammy Sosas in a box over there. No relation, Craig Worthington. Another Sammy, the same card. Juan gone. No, nothing in that. We'll have to wait till we open the boxes in May. Okay, and the last needle in a way, needle in a way, needle in a hay stack. Oh, and there is. And Nolan Ryan on back. Or no, Triple Crown. You know what? This is a Ted William. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that the Ted William autographs are just on the checklist. So sorry to ruin it. But we got a Ricky and a Jose Canseco. Ricky don't need no steroids. Uh... And we have the same Tony Grin, Gwyn. I can't talk today. And it was just a regular Ted Williams card. You need the checklist. I need to find more of those boxes. Those are actually, like I said, harder to find now. I don't know why. Maybe we're getting to the point where obviously the supply of all these sets are not washed up. You know, you go there, take a little sip here. You go there and you'll find 
a bunch of the uh, the 91 Donruss online, but people want as much as $50, $60 a box for it. It's just starting to get swooped up and open more. So, it, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit more rare. Okay. So, first we're going to do this rock card. This was one of my bad purchases, I, I believe. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought it was Van Halen's Joey. Could be from Van Halen. I don't know. Joey Allen. Got some. Oh, it felt like something thick in there. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I've seen these before. I don't remember a black card, though. This is like a sticker of Sanda Kuwait. From Puss. Oh. Is that Pusshead? <laughs> it's Pusshead! A sticker of Pusshead. Jerry Garcia from The Grateful Dead. Ricky Rocket. Doug Gordon. That was Van Halen again. Craig, they all look alike. Slaughter. Up all night. Sleep all day. That's right now. There's there's Reb Beach. Who is Reb Beach? Looks like a gunshot wound there to his abdominal area at one point. Reb Beach. Uh, who does he play with? You know, you need to tell us who they play for. He skateboards in the off-season. You know? Oh, does it tell us on top? No. I don't know who Reb Beach is. Kip Winger. Probably from the group Winger. Cinderella. Malcolm Young. Louis Clemente, Brett Michaels, The Rock of Love, Richie Sambora, Alice Cooper, that's a cool looking card, and then that Joey Allen. Okay, I mean, if these were a dollar a pack, I'd consider buying more because I like that sticker, but they're not. And we're going to do, we're going to do that warning here. I got a pack of True Crime. And then I got a pack of some possible nudie cards. But you know what? I don't have anything to freaking scratch it off. I'll have to love you, let you hold for a minute here while I go find like a coin or something. I'll have to uh, raid the roommate's piggy bank real quick and grab a dime or something. If I have to scratch those off. But let's do this first. I'm not going to know all these. Oh, these are the same. You know who makes these cards? The same go the same company that makes AIDS. The AIDS cards. The same exact thing. Estes Kafaver. And there's a book back here. And I think he's an investigator. Albert Anastasia was a famous mobster. IRS. Corruption. Jake the Barber was a famous barber, apparently. I'm not going to read these. Uh, Estelle Carey, no idea. Wanda Holloway. Kenneth McDuff, the McDuffster. Lori Dan. The Babysitter, oh no. Who's the fucking babysitter? Seven pre... Preteen, oh, no, I don't want to know about the babysitter. Norris and Bitteker. Like, Eric, Larry Eiler sounds like too familiar. And Joe Barbera, is he the Hannah and Barbera? Oh, he was, a, he was part of the mobster. Okay, so pretty uneventful pack for these. We didn't really get anything too cool. Okay, let me, go, let me put the bowcock up a little bit and we'll go get something to scratch this off. Hold on real quick. Talk about my cubs.
Okay, I finagled a dime from the roommate's big piggy bank. And we'll open these up. So, adult warning, adult warning. Okay. We don't have to scratch them all. We're not going to scratch them all, but... Ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay, we're going to look at them first. She just got out of the shower, it looks like. These two are at the beach. And that's the back, these are the puzzle. <laughs> look at the back. Interesting. How are her legs right there? Oh, it's two ladies' legs. <laughs> Please don't watch this if you're not supposed to. Dare to bear. Scratch off collector's cards. There's nothing to scratch off back there. Oh, and there's two more ladies. Nothing too, too graphic here. Not all of them are scratch off. Well, her bottom's a scratch off there. And this is one of those going to be one of the better ones to scratch off. Do we already see the lady with the, with the butt? Did I already go over that? Oh, that's already a repeat. They already got me a repeat in here. The second repeat. This sucks. Can't believe another repeat. And the dare to bear scratch off collector cards. Oh, look at the, oh, it's a big puzzle. <laughs> at least, at least we got the money shot part of the puzzle. We're not going to do the money shot part of the puzzle. Um, we're going to do, do one of these. Okay, I warned you. I'd buy these again. Buy them all day long. You know what? Hold on. I didn't have a light on. I don't know if that affected anything. And they're not scratching off. <laughs> Fucking. Oh my god, I'm digging into the paper. I don't know if these are gonna scratch off anymore. Woohoo! I won't get banned. You rub them? No, I said scratch off. Look how white her butt is. She needs a tan. These scratch offs aren't gonna work. <laughs> what a fucking letdown. At least this was a double. Maybe I'll try one more. Let me try one more here. Let's find a, a less risky one. We'll try the other, the other scratch off. You can see kind of a boob there. These just don't work. Can't see anything down there anyway, but of course that's the part that scratches off. Okay, the scratch off probably was never good anyway. It was probably crappy anyway, but uh, that's what we got. So these are Dare to Bear scratch off cards. Thank you very much for wasting a half hour with me. We didn't get the boobs, but we got the Bocock. We got the Brian Bocock auto. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I will be back shortly someday with another video later